Hello everyone and welcome back to the next episode, I've lost count of them, in my let's play of Typewriter. This is a really fun game that I found on Steam where the object of the game is to uh, move your little two dots along these levels that are very difficult in order to collect all of the letters of the alphabet of a particular font and we've been going in chronological order and we are all the way up to Times New Roman, which I think is the font that we all use uh, pretty much 99% of the time. So I am excited uh, to play this because I think maybe it means that we're getting towards the end of the game and beating the game. I could be wrong. <laughs> I see the A. Oh, I don't want to get squished. I'm going to get squished. No, we're going to get spliced. Oh, we made it. Just barely. Um, oh, is this going to kill us? No. Okay. Go through. That's gonna kill us. Oh, oh, we made it. We made it. We made it. All these freaking commas are getting in our way, though. No commas. No! Oh, commas. Why? Or are they apostrophes? Or, or quotation marks? Uh, no. No. This is hard because the conveyor belt is pushing us the opposite direction that we want to go. Um, oh, this is, this is almost impossible. All right, here we go. There we go. Let's wait here. Let's just take our time through each level. Oops, <gasps> you can't even touch it. All right, good to know. Oops. Okay, good. Okay. Go. Alright, we made it through there and we got the D. So that's good. So now we just need to not get killed here. Oh, no, we're going to get spliced again, aren't we? No, no, we've made it. Oh, no. Alright, go. <laughs> Look at us. E! <gasps> we got sucked into the pipe! Oh, we got something. And here is the G. Got it. How do I get through here without dying? How do I do this without dying? Okay, there we go, like that. And H and pipe. So now we're looking for the I. There it is. Asterix J K Gil Sands L. <laughs> In England, Eric Gill is distinguished by his creation of several new characters. A trained architect, he studied calligraphy. He abandons architecture to dedicate himself to calligraphy and sculpture. I know all of these fonts, like... Is it Gil? Is it Gil Sands Light? <laughs> All those ones? Um, interesting. All right. I'm pretty sure I've pronounced almost... Oh, we're going to die. 95% uh, of the fonts incorrectly in this series, so I want to apologize to the makers of Typewriter. Uh, I am learning, though, and dying quite a bit. All right. Got the M. And... Oh, yep, that's good. Ooh, how, how? <gasps> this isn't, oh, I thought that, wait, wait, what? This, wait, what? What am I missing? Hold up. Oh, what? 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 I have to split us. I think that's the only way to make it through is to... to... Oh, no, wait. <gasps> what? Oh, gosh. Go. No. No, no, no. Ah. Go, 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 go. No. Oh, my gosh. Did I really just... That was complete luck. Oh, my gosh. No, no, no. 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 Come over here. No, 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 no. There we go. Well, that was luck. And 
we can advance in the level. All right, N books death. Oh, who knew that typography was such a d dangerous? Honestly, I don't think there's any saws like this. Oh, oh, can those books squash me too? Oh, how do I get the O? How do I get the O? Oh, I missed the O. Uh, penguin books. Oh, look at that. Oh, no, can't get past this. There we go. Penguin books. Yes, let's read this. A Farewell to Arms by Ernest Hemingway, the cover of Penguin's paperbacks in the 1930s. Alan Lane, another Englishman, kicks off the first publishing house that specializes in paperback pocket books. The editor who began his career working for Bodley Head, the publishing house of his uncle John Lane, sets out to create his own publishing house and founds Penguin Books in 1935. I have heard of Penguin. I believe Penguin publishes uh, John Green's book, The Fault in Our Stars. Uh... Penguin successfully reissues books, but also offers new titles at an inexpensive rate uh, using Gil Sands at, or Jill Sands, I'm not sure. As their signature typeface, Penguin Books ensures great readability as well as solid manufacturing and subsequently achieves unexpected success. Huh. Good to know. I wonder if they still use that font. Um, all right. Let's get back onto the, the conveyor belt. Don't, no, no, you won't, you stupid book. No, why? No, no, no. It's a book backup. We've got it. Yes. No. Oh. Uh, space bar jamming. So much space bar jamming. We got the cue. And now we just need to get on the elevator that is a, a P. Oh. Uh, all right, on top, and then over to the R, and then back on to the P. Hey, we're getting the hang of this. To the S, to the death. All right, back on the P elevator. Nope. Oh, we got split. We got split. And, no. Nope. Fail. Jump on. Let's not get split this time. We're on the hunt for a T. There it is. And a... What? How am I supposed to avoid those? Oh, I see. They're shorting out. Go, 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 go. Oh, nope. That's so cool and deathly. All right, go. Oh, we missed it. That's so hard. We have to do, we have to get the first one just right. Go. Oh, that V is sneaky up there. Ah. All right, we're gonna get it this time. Oh wait, where, what? That was hardly any short at all. There we go, that's more like it, honestly. Oh, go, 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 jump. No, no, how do you get on there? Look at that, that's nothing. There we go. I can't. I can't. I don't understand. I don't know. Is it just luck? Okay. There, oh, there we go. There we go. Um, move over here and get the W. No, we missed the W and we died. No. Oh no, there should have been a checkpoint. Are you serious? No, we should not have to do this whole part again. You've gotta be kidding me. 
What if we don't make it again? Ah, oh, we made it. All right, so now how are we supposed to do this? Come over here, get the W. We overshot the W. Yes, we did. <laughs> oh, no, wait, I didn't even... Ugh. <laughs> okay. And jump. And jump. Oh, we did pretty good there. And don't overshoot the W this time. There we go. Oh, no! All right. Um... Okay. Okay. Oh, I can't seem to go. All right, I'm ready to go as soon as there's a break again. No, it's on now. And go now, go now. Oh, oh, no, 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 we're stuck. We're stuck, we're gonna, abort, abort. <sighs> All right, go, Stacy. Nope, nope, you didn't, you didn't go. You didn't do it well. Oh, wait a minute. This is where my lack of being able to move very easily is going to hurt me because I honestly cannot get past this. There we go. Nope. Okay, so what? What? No, don't put me there! The birth of cinema? I'm gonna look at it just so I can get out of this electrocution area. What's happening? What's going on? Uh oh. What? All right, that one seemed to have not worked. Oh, Stace. Um, okay, <laughs> precariously balancing here. Jump over, oh, we made it, yes, yes. No. Do not put us back on those letters. Good. <laughs> and jump, and big jump. <gasps> no, Z, come back here. There we go. We've done pretty good this level, I think. All right, where's our white ball? That's who I'm looking for. There you are. Hello, old friend. Come with me. No, oh, no, 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 no. Darn it. How are we gonna get back to, our, to the white ball now? Oh, man. How do we get back to the white ball now? In 1921, Stanley Morrison, a typographer and draftsman of English fonts, publishes his first book devoted to the history of typography and the printing press, titled The Craft of Printing. Employed at Pelican Press, then at Cloister Press in Manchester from 1921 to 1923, he creates the Blado character and then becomes typographical advisor to Monotype Corporation the same year, holding the office until his death in 1967. In 1929, he is hired as a typographical advisor by the English Daily, The Times, and is responsible for designing the new layout of the newspaper as well as directing the work that will lead to the creation of Times New Roman. Inspired by the typeface Plantin from the what family? Times New Roman is produced in 1931 and used for the first time in 1932. The font is designed to save space. Isn't that interesting to save space? Uh, while providing optimal readability, even if printed on poor quality paper. With its short legs and notable contrast between thick and thin strokes, the Times typeface meets all of its objectives and is used for over 40 years. So basically it means that uh, save space means that you can fit more letters in uh, using Times New Roman because uh, see if you look at it all of the letters kind of fit together uh, almost like a puzzle so if you are writing a paper and you need to have it be a certain length you might want to revise your choice of Times Roman as the font I'm gonna kill myself here so that I can come down uh, with my white dots that I missed. And I think that we need to bear to the right based off of that as well. Um, okay, so, hello my friend. 
Come with me. Let's go. Oh, no. No! We, we left him again. Let's just see which way we need to go. All right, so we need to go. Uh, okay, I don't know how we're going to do that. Jump over. All right. So we want to get on the other side of you. Oh, can we go this way? Okay, perfect. And down. You come down. You just fall. You just keep falling. That'll be great. Oop, yep. Uh... Sweet! <gasps> no, 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 no! There we go. Wait. Wait, is that a pipe that goes up? No, I'm not gonna do it. But that's weird. That is a pipe that goes up. But we've completed times. Yay! Now let's see. Moment of truth. Everything. No, we didn't get the O. Oh, really? I think I knew that. We didn't get the O and we didn't get the and sign. What a bummer. But we are moving on to the next font. Which is going to be Helvetica. That was rather dramatic, Helvetica, honestly. Oops, why can I never get the hang of this? Just flow up. <laughs> Helvetica. Oh, we're skiing. We're, this is a thing, we're skiing. Tune in next time to see if I can do this level. I think this is gonna be a hard one. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. Check the description for a link to the next one if I have posted it. Paige and Molly love you. Go rescue a dog.